glad to recognize them. Mr. Chairman. Senator from Tennessee. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I did want to speak today. First, I want to welcome my former House colleague, Peter Welch. We work together so well on the Energy and Commerce Committee, and I'm looking forward to working with him here. And I do want to thank um, Ranking Member Graham for his support as we've talked about the blue, sh blue sh slip issues. Can't get it out. And um, as we've talked about the Casey Arrowwood nomination, as I noted previously, one thing is very clear, Mr. Arrowwood is exceptionally well qualified to be U.S. Attorney, and this committee has done the people of East Tennessee a disservice by depriving them of a U.S. Attorney because of baseless objections from the Democratic side of the aisle. Senator Haggerty and I worked in good faith with the White House on this and other U.S. Attorney nominees, and what happened with Mr. Arrowwood is, in my opinion, unacceptable. Now, this situation is also indicative of the larger issues that Senator Haggerty and I have had with the White House and this committee with respect to Tennessee nominees. And I'm not going to rehash all the details of our Sixth Circuit nomination, but let's just say that Senator Haggerty and I were not meaningfully uh, consulted by the White House at any step in that process. In that same vein, I associate myself with the previous remarks from Senator Graham regarding the blue slip process. Under the previous administration, the White House made significant efforts to work with Democrats to try and find a path forward on nominees, including with you, Mr. Chairman, Senator Haggerty and I, and consequently, the people of Tennessee have not been afforded that very same courtesy. You've hinted that Senate Democrats may do away with the blue slip in the district court level, at least under certain circumstances. <clears throat> but I would urge you to reconsider this. For over a century, this body has used the blue slip process for district court nominees to ensure that home state senators have a say in which individuals will serve in life tenure positions in their state's federal judiciary. The blue slip is essential to the Senate's constitutional obligation to provide advice and consent. If the Biden White House feels that the blue slip has become an impediment to confirming federal judges, I do have a suggestion to make. Instead of doing away with blue slips for district court nominees to push through radical progressive judges, nominate individuals who will faithfully and impartially enforce and apply the Constitution and our laws as they are written. If this White House can do that, I would assure you, you'll have a lot more senators returning blue slips. Mr. Chairman, I also want to speak on the Brubaker and Ramsey nominations. We'll move to nominations uh, in just a moment as soon as the appropriate number arrived. Uh, well, since, since we do not have the appropriate number, I was hopeful we could use that time in order to be heard. Certainly. Go proceed, Senator. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As I noted a few weeks ago, you set a new standard when you allowed Mr. Arrowwood's nomination to lapse, and I'll be sure to apply that standard to each and every U.S. attorney nominee that is going to come before this committee. The question that I will ask myself on each of these nominees is this. Is this U.S. attorney nominee more objectionable than Mr. Arrowwood was. Now, it is clear to me that both of today's nominees don't pass this test. Ms. Brubaker has described herself as a, and I'm quoting, prison abolitionist, her term. 
and participated in an effort to set aside the sentence of a man convicted of triple homicide. And there are significant concerns about possible conflicts of interest with Mr. Ramsey regarding his presentation, his representation of a defendant charged with public corruption. Applying your standard, Mr. Chairman, I cannot allow these two U.S. Attorney nominees to be voice voted this morning, and I request that they be held over. They've already been held over. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Coons. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, while we wait uh, for uh, enough senators to join, I just briefly wanted to talk about the five pieces of legislation we will take up today, if I might. Proceed. I'll just 